Hey everybody, Tim and Julie here for Gotham Season 3, Episode 5, Anything For You. I don't even know what that title meant. I guess kind of for Butch. Like he would give anything for the Penguin. Yeah, he gave his life. Presumably, yeah. It kind of yeah. seemed that way. Yeah. Uh, we do see the Return of the Red Hood gang, which we've seen before. Mm -hmm. And honestly, at this point, we've done so many Batman videos, like, it's all blending together. I was like, mm -hmm. like, have we seen the Red Hood gang in yes. Gotham? We have. Mm -hmm. um, probably my favorite part of the episode is actually Nygma returning to the, the GCPD and being like, no, I'm in charge now. And everybody's like, mm -hmm. what? Yeah, I, I love that. Um... The saddest part was, well, was Penguin, sad part? <laughs> Penguin's speech to Gotham mm -hmm. and his mother's statue. That's when we saw the red, red yep. and they blasted it. I don't know. I didn't like his mom so much. So no, <laughs> it I wasn't didn't. really sad for me. Yeah. But I get you. Uh, we see the return of Victor Vaz. Which, it, I feel like it's been a minute since we've seen him. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, we learn a little bit more about Alice and her blood. Which, I don't know, every time we've seen it infect someone, it just kills them right away. Right. And then Lee's like, the rats got in heightened strength and stamina. And I was like, we don't see that. Like, mm -hmm. everybody's just died. What are you yeah. talking about? But now, as you pointed out, at the end of the episode, yeah. Barnes is walking without yeah, a cane. Yeah, he got up from his desk, then gets to the other side and realizes he don't have his cane, mm. but then he gets, I don't know, the injection, I don't know, gave him power or something. Right. So, yeah. presumably he's going to become like a super villain or something. Something. Like, because of the blood that fell in his eyeball. Finally, I'm a little disappointed. We see Ivy and Selena, mm -hmm. but we don't know it yet. Yeah. But we do see the encounter. Mm -hmm. I was ready. I was I was so ready for like the what? Like mm -hmm. you're Ivy? Like, but we don't. No. It'll it'll be it'll be the next episode. Yes. Almost guaranteed it, but. But yeah, when their encounter, I got the feeling that was a that was a. Because Selena does know something's up. Mm -hmm. because she's staring at ivy for a, while. for a while and she's even talking to bruce and she's like who is that so she knows something's up mm -hmm. but i thought it was going to be the same episode though that yeah, like, they see, see each other, other and, and like freak out yeah but whatever um i don't know anything yeah. else then like you said butch is having a bad day yeah I don't know, like, honestly, I didn't think Butch would even last this long. Because mm -hmm. in the first season, he's such a henchman. Right. And then we see Fish leave and come back and leave and come mm -hmm. back. Like, I didn't think Butch would even last this long in the series. So, uh -huh. I'm curious to see... Maybe if he survives. Yeah, yeah. what his storyline is yeah. going to be. Yeah. I mean, who knows? Because the Red Hood Gang is not there any longer. Mm-hmm. But we'll, we'll see them again. We'll see them again. Somebody will team up with them and, you know, get some new people in there and team up. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Right. Um, didn't see the clone in this one. No. Um, is that about it? Yeah. We didn't. see Tetch has, so as I said before, the Tetch that I think of is obsessed with Alice. And then we, in this series, his sister was Alice. But now that she's dead, like, now he's obsessed yes. with women. With women and she, so, yeah. It's like full circle. Yep. So he killed another Alice. Yep. Which I, at first, I, I was like, wow, that's like the first episode we don't see him in. And then mm -hmm. they snuck him in there at the end. Yeah. Okay. Anything yeah. else? No. Uh, I think they need to watch out for Nygma. Something's going to go down. Oh, yeah, he is batshit crazy. He is. He. Which I love it. I think yeah. he's great. I, I didn't like him in the first season where he was like the good boy but weird. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, I could be the good boy and weird, but whatever. <laughs> but the as he's getting crazier and crazier, mm -hmm. 
the more I'm like, that is the Riddler. A hundred, yes, like, and even in this, he's wearing like a green suit. Uh huh. Like the crazier he gets, the more I'm like, he is actually kind of scary. He, yeah, because he was watching Butch. Mm -hmm. And he's, he's the one that shot him there mm -hmm. at the end. Well, he made that deal with him to... Like, go after uh, Penguin. But then it was a double cross. Yeah. And, yeah, he got it instead. No. Yeah. Yeah. Any other closing thoughts for no, this one? this one was better than the last one. Okay, good. So, slowly getting better. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so if that's everything, uh, for those who have seen it, go ahead, let us know what you guys think, what you guys like, what you dislike, let us know all about it, but don't spoil it for us, because we're slowly getting through it. Um, thank you guys for watching and subscribing, and we will see you guys next time for what could possibly be my favorite episode title so far, with a special guest host next time, won't say who it is, but we will see you guys next time for Follow the White Rabbit.